A warm welcome to everyone. I am Shaili Sen from class 8. I am Swastika Ratta from class 8. And I am Shumamita Parmukha from class 8. We are representing the BSI school for the Tinker Fest. Life on earth first began in the ocean and it is also the source for existence of life. Thus, the other name of water is life. The overarching objective of our project is to construct a coherent vision of the sustainable development in the 21st century for life below water. But we are forgetting the importance of water and exploiting the water bodies day by day only for our own use. This has an adverse effect on the marine biodiversity. Now the question arises, what causes such pollution? Inflow of chemicals, discharge from agricultural fields and industries, human sedimentation, thermal production, overfishing, oil spills, discharge of radioactive elements are some of the few causes of water pollution. Now let us know about one of the most alarming effects of marine pollution. Plastics. The adverse effects of plastics has now become the talk of the town. About 88% of the total water pollution is caused due to plastics. And what more? 12.7 million tons of plastics are thrown into the water bodies annually. And about 7 to 76 marine species are affected due to it. And China topped the list. Researchers pulled 90 pounds of plastic from a young kuvia baked whale in the islands of Philippines. Oil spills. Oil spills is also a factor that affects marine pollution. But how can we prevent the oil spills? Sometimes an oil fence is created around a ship so that the oil remains within certain pounds. Domestic and agricultural wastes. Sometimes pesticides and fertilizers run off into the water bodies from agricultural fields. Pesticides containing lead and mercury are very harmful for aquatic life and this destroys the ecological balance. Overfishing refers to the removal of species from the oceans at a rate that species cannot rip the nation time. Overfishing has an adverse effect on the environment. The pelagic fish that stands on the or live on the upper part of the oceans are caught by drift netting, and the fishes that live at great depth are caught by trawling. Scientists have said that about 200 million pounds of fishes are caught every year. Many of the species are endangered and face the risks of extinction. Just name a few, Ra Orange Ruffy, Hammerfest, etc. The rest of the world fares no better. The number of dead zones has increased from 49 in the 1960s to 405 in 2018. Now we are to know what these dead zones are. Dead zones are hypoxic areas in the world's oceans and large lakes caused by the excessive nutrient pollution from human activities coupled with other factors that deplete the oxygen required to support most of the marine life in bottom and near bottom water. So, the entire world should come together in order to protect the marine life and to prevent the pollution that, that is occurring these days. So, each one of us should create awareness in order to protect the marine life. Each one should find the most eco-friendly method in every step of life. Never doubt, a small group of people, of committed, thoughtful people can contribute to change the world for betterment. Our project portrays uh, the present situation and an idealic situation. We can work and our future will no doubt be as beautiful as this rather than this which is at a danger. Thank, Thank you. you.